Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. So today, I'll be showing you how I used Merit's Lafette Holiday Edition Kit to create this really pretty, natural, and most importantly, easy winter makeup look. So yes, this week I'll be working with Merit Beauty again, and I am still so freaking excited to be able to say that. I've been using Merit products since before I started working with them, and I absolutely love them. So for those of you who have never heard of them, Merit Beauty is all about very minimal and natural looking makeup products that are clean, vegan, and cruelty free. Anyway, really quickly before we get started, I just wanted to say that if you like this video and want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel. That would be super awesome and I'd be really grateful. And if you're feeling extra nice, please go check out my Instagram and my TikTok. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so I wanted to start off by talking about what's in Merit Beauty's La Fette set. In this Holiday Essentials kit, there's a deluxe mini of the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum, a mini of the Clean Lash Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara in black, a full size of the Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick in Aperitif, a full size of the Day Glow Highlight Balm in Bounce, and a full size of the Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade in Neutral, which is clear. And the set is currently selling for $75 on Merit site which I think is a really great price. It is currently the most discounted set on their site and all of the items come in at 30% less than if you were to buy them individually. I think this is a really great gift option for someone special in your life, or you can break it apart between some family and friends. And the set meets their $40 free shipping minimum and comes with a free signature bag if it's your first order, which you could give with the set or you could keep for yourself. So yeah, if you're looking to check out the LaFette set, I'm going to leave a link for you down in the description box below. And now it's time to get into the makeup look. Okay, so to start things off, I'm applying Merit's Great Skin Instant Glow Serum, and this was the product I was most excited to try out. So my skin was super dry when I filmed this video, but after putting on the serum, it quickly became very hydrated and smooth. Overall, I was very impressed by the serum. It felt like it would be easy to layer makeup on top of it, and it just gave my skin the prettiest glow. The only thing I will say is I wish the dispenser was a dropper instead of a pump. I don't know if it's the size of the bottle, but the pump kind of shot out the product somewhat aggressively and was like a little messy. Now to conceal my under eye area and cover up any spots and redness, I'm going to be using Merit's Complexion Stick in the shade Dune. So I bought this from Sephora somewhat recently, so I haven't had too much time with it, but here are my thoughts so far. I like the amount of coverage it has. It's a light to medium buildable product, and I also really enjoy that it's a cream formula. It's just so easy to blend out and looks really natural. And I think it wears really nicely throughout the day. The only thing that I don't like about it is it doesn't fully retract back into the tube. I wish that they had made the tube a little bit longer so I could do this because sometimes I nick the product while putting the cap back on. But anyway, now that the first layer of product is on and blended out, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more to areas that need some extra coverage. For mascara, I'm going to put on a couple layers of Merit's Clean Lash Mascara. But before doing that, I'm going to curl my lashes because my lashes are very straight and point downwards and definitely need to be curled. <laughs> So if you're someone who likes natural looking lashes, I think you're really going to like this mascara. It gives you a little bit of length, a little bit of volume, and some really nice separation. But if you're someone who likes very dramatic, voluminous, and kind of clumpier looking lashes, then I don't think this is going to be for you. For me personally, I do like this mascara. I especially love how it separates the lashes, but I do wish it had a bit more buildability. Next, I'm going to use Merit's Brow 1980 Clear Gel to create some very natural and fluffy looking brows. This brow gel is really easy to work with, and I think it has a slightly stronger hold than the tinted version. Coming in with Merit's Bronze Balm in the shade Sen, I'm going to do some light contouring and general bronzing. For those of you who've seen my other video with Merit Beauty, you know that I love this product. And for those of you guys who haven't seen that video, well, now you know that I love this product. Anyway, I'm just going to be applying this to my cheekbones and temples, jaw, and nose. And this stuff just has the most amazing consistency. It's very buttery and easy to blend out. It just kind of melts into the skin, and it creates this really beautiful glow from within. For highlighter, I have Merit's Day Glow Highlighter in the shade Bounce. 
and I'm just going to be applying this to the upper portions of my cheekbones. So this stuff has a very similar consistency to Merit's Bronze Bomb, so amazing. And it just creates a very pretty and natural looking highlight, like it's just like a very subtle sort of shine. Moving on to blush, I have Merit's Flush Bomb in the shade Beverly Hills, and I'm just going to be applying that to my cheeks at like an upward sort of angle. I really like applying blush in this way because I feel like it gives the face a very lifted sort of look. So I grabbed this blush when I bought the complexion stick from Sephora, so again, I haven't had this for that long. But I think this might be my new favorite blush. It has the same consistency as the bronze bomb and the highlighter, and it's just the prettiest pinky peach color. And I love the dewy finish it has. I think it adds like an element of fullness to the cheeks. Now for lips, I have Merit's signature lipstick in the shade Aperitif. So since this is a bold color and I'm going for a more natural look, I'm going to be applying this a little bit differently. I'm just going to take the lipstick and pat it on my lips until I get the amount of color that I want. And by the way, I think this red color is really pretty, and the lipstick itself is very comfortable to wear. Now to wrap things up, I'm going to use the Day Glow Highlighter and Bronze Balm to add some dimension to my eyes. I'm just going to be applying the Day Glow Highlight to the inner corners, the Bronze Balm to the outer corners and crease, and blending that out with a fluffy brush. Now I know that I should have done this before putting on mascara, but it was kind of a last minute decision, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, here's the finished look, and I'm just loving how glowy and natural everything looks. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!